Hi, I'm Nick Eatman here with DallasCowboys.com, and we know how important injuries are to the game of football, especially in the NFL, but here to help us understand them a little bit better, we've got Dr. Alexander Cho. He's an orthopedic surgeon from Methodist Health System, where life shines bright. We appreciate you joining us here today. Now, we're talking about the hamstring injuries, and we know how, you know, with, with these speedy, fast, wide receivers and running backs, really all position players, but, but the speedy guys are the ones that seem to have the hamstring injuries. Tell us a little bit about what a hamstring is, how it gets injured, and how you can fix it. It's basically a muscle that extends uh, along the back of the leg of the thigh, and uh, it starts off on the pelvis and inserts uh, downwards towards the uh, end of the thigh bone. And the reason why in athletes uh, they're more commonly injured is because those muscles in the back of the thigh tend to have a little bit more of those type 2 fibers which create explosive movements. And all these athletes are explosive, they're quick, and they can injure these muscles. Uh, I think if Cowboy fans will remember uh, in the 2011 season, Miles Austin who was dealing with hamstring injuries all throughout the season, uh, had missed three games with one hamstring injury, then another. It, it was a, could it be a situation sometimes where you favor one leg, or, or if it's not 100% rehab, then it, it's going to be uh, a situation where you could re-injure it? That, that's one of the things that really uh, allows or tells us as doctors whether or not someone can come back from an injury is uh, to make sure that their strength is e equivalent in both legs um, as they're rehabbing. And once they've achieved that, then we're, we feel a little bit more comfortable allowing them to return to uh, their normal activities. Explain the, the difference uh, it, mainly in the rehab part of it in the hamstring strain and a tear. Obviously, a tear mm -hmm. sounds a lot worse, but it probably it would be in this case. Well, it, it's kind of a continuum. A, a strain is kind of a smaller tear whereas you can have a greater degree of tearing and it's kind of a spectrum. Um, obviously, the, the larger the tear, the longer it's gonna take to rehab. All right, let's kind of shift focus here. Everybody's favorite, mm -hmm. the groin injury. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that and obviously that's a big part of it in, in the NFL as well. Mm -hmm. uh, just how do they happen and how can they be treated? Again, ver very similar mechanism. Again, you have explosive muscles and any sort of running, sprinting is gonna uh, allow these muscles to be uh, taxed in certain ways and again you ha have the same mechanism of tearing uh, that occurs as you would in a hamstring. Talk a little bit uh, about uh, conditioning when you know for, for players that have hamstring injuries and groin injuries obviously you, you want to still be uh, in the best condition uh, as, as you possibly can uh, but it's hard to do that when you have an injury uh, so how, what's the best way to kind of stay physically fit when you have injuries such as that? Well. The strength obviously is the, is the key part, but the other half of that equation is flexibility and maintaining that flexibility. And post-injury, uh, once we're over the, the acute phase and when they could start finally putting weight on this leg, it's important for them to start moving quickly so no scar tissue forms and they're able to uh, get back to their full range of motion that's necessary to do their, their uh, sporting activities. All right, well that's some really good information. Now we know that, that injuries, especially the, the hamstring groin injuries, they will occur. The, the, hopefully for the Cowboys sake it won't be as bad as last year, but we really appreciate you joining us. Thanks. That is Alexander Cho. He's an orthopedic surgeon from Methodist Health System where life shines bright.